So welcome everybody to Ben's Farm Simulator 2019 video. What are you going to be doing today, Ben? Are you going to be cutting corn? Are you going to be sowing corn? Um, okay, so let's see. He's looking at contract for harvesting. And the owner of this field is Robert Randolph, and he's going to pay Ben 15,000 euro if he wants to do it. Or are you going to go, which one are you going to go with? That one? Which farmer are you going to go with, Ben? And that's field 10. Okay, so he's picked field 10. And okay, so tell me what machinery you're going to pick out. What do you need to do this job? Oh, that's pretty nice. A Panther 2. And what type? I don't know what type of machine that is. I know it's very expensive. Um, what are you going to need? Are you going to need like a header or... What is that thing? Front part. Oh, it's the front part. Okay. And what else do you need? Do you, do you need a trailer? Do you need a tractor? Going through all the options here, the trailers. Don't exactly know what the job is yet. Is it cutting corn? No. Not sure. Should we get a few trailers anyway, won't we? Nice. Ben has quite a bit of money. He's got 1.3, 1.2 million. And we're rolling out with the first machine. He's just carefully reversing back in. And then he's going to be able to hitch up the front part of the machine. See the way he's done that beautifully. Now we're driving in the cab. Do you prefer to drive in the cab? Yes. Okay, and I think uh, we're going to field 10. And Ben pretty much knows where field 10 is. It's the most popular field that he uses. He uses the the large motorway, don't you? You don't use the small link roads because your machinery is quite big. Isn't that right? Okay, off we go. As you can see, this is a big machine. Uh, it's not too fast. Oh, you go this way? I normally take a left there. Um, but I think, as you can see, it's picking up speed. We're up to over 40 kilometers an hour at the moment, which is pretty fast. And you can see there from the outside view just how big this machine is. It is huge. Not exactly sure what it's called. It's, is it like it's a kind of a combine, is it? Kind of a combine, we think. Yeah, we're just passing field number 13 on the left-hand side. A lot of controls. Are you able to work all the controls in your combine? Yeah. Good. As you can see, we've got an experienced driver behind the wheel. Sometimes Ben will... Oh, just passing the uh, livestock yards, also known as the Mart. As you can see, Ben is a very experienced driver, but he may outsource the work. He may hire somebody in to actually cut the field. Sometimes with when it's maybe cotton or it needs to be sprayed, he might hire a worker in. So we'll have to see if he does the job himself today. Some good driving. Let's just check where we are on the map. Okay, so yeah, you've got an, an unusual way to field 10, but... Uh, Picking up a bit of speed now. We're up to 40 kilometers, 43. Looks like top speed, max speed, 43. Ben, of course, is an accomplished uh, petrol buggy driver and also a quad driver because he has his own electric quad on the farm. But here in farm, oh, just taking out a road sign there, Ben. <laughs> now, where are we stopping now? We know we're not stopping in. Bit of work going on outside that building. Watch out for the road sign! I think we just missed that one. And Ben is getting out of the cab for some reason. 
And he's back in. This is the Road Panther 2. Ben is currently driving. There goes another road sign. Didn't need it anyway. Okay. Yeah, still staying at that 43 kilometer an hour max speed. You can see Ben has a sat nav on the front left hand side of his windscreen. Beautiful sunny day. Perfect conditions for a bit of farming. And this header is very handy because it's nice and narrow. Uh, means he can use these B roads. Doesn't have to worry about crashing into any cars or taking up too much of the road space. And we're just coming up to farm number 10 on the left hand side. That's it, farm 10 right in on our left here. Can you see it? See where the train is? That's farm 10, the other side of there. Just I think where we're going, isn't it, Ben? No, isn't farm 10 in here? Yeah, he knows exactly where he's going. For those cars that have just been building up at the railway crossing. Oh yeah, that's it. We're turning in now. Turning into the field and we are in. We're here. So, takes it nice and slow over the tracks. And we can see our crop right in front of us. So Ben just lines it up. Now, is he going to engage the header? So you can see he is uh, just engaging the fold harvester. There it goes. And we're off. And you can see he's cutting the corn. How's it cutting, Ben? Good. Not too wet. No, it's just ripe. It's ready. Now, do we know what type of crop it is today? What are we cutting today? Is it sugar beet? It is sugar beet. So Ben has currently done 4% of the field. And did you hire a worker? So he's hired a worker. So the worker is going to continue to cut the, the sugar beet. Ben, as you can see, is reversing his tractor up, just going to get that hitched up to the trailer. And this is where he's going to load up the sugar beet into the trailer. Now, this is a pretty quick tractor. I've seen him use this one before. So. You should be able to get here in no time. Now, if you go left here, it's a quicker way, it's a shortcut. Go down here. This way, this way. Oh, he's letting the car clear, and we're off. Yeah, this is the quick road. It's a little bit of a narrow road, but uh, that's okay. Working that steering wheel well, getting on the street. Got some nice tunes in the background. Keep us company in our cab. Yeah, you can see the speed in this is good. He's up to 35 kilometers an hour, and I think he might overtake this car soon. If you get a clear stretch of road, he might overtake the car. Here he goes. Yeehaw! And just gonna pull inside. This is another car coming up on the other side of the road. Lovely. I might wanna wait again, because there's another car there I see. I mean, there's no hurry. It's a nice day. Some 80s music and in for the kill. That's it. It's a very slow station wagon. So, because Ben is hired the worker, he can be cutting the sugar beet 
as we uh, bring our trailer and our tractor out to the site, out to farm number 10. So we're just passing farm six on our right hand side. Um, more cars, it's a busier road, isn't it, this one? Slightly busier road, but that's okay. It is shorter, so we should be at farm 10 pretty soon. I think we're just coming up to the bottom of field 10, I think. So if you keep your eyes on the right-hand window here, oh, it's field four. Field four. Mountains in the background. It's a sunny day in Farm Simulator 19. Listen to Pop Radio FM. Now, Ben just checking the traffic, making sure not to crash into anybody as he merges with the road. In case anybody's wondering, we have Rocky the dog in the room with us. Wondering what's going on, aren't you, Rock? And yeah, we just got field 10 just ahead. Just ahead. A bit further, Benno. Did I bring you the totally wrong way? No problem, we got all the time in the world. How are we doing on fuel, Ben? We got enough fuel in the tank? Good. I think I took you the way to go to the field four, did I? Maybe that's where I did my last job. I must have mixed up my fields. And Ben is the only qualified farmer in the house. Leo does not like farming. Uh, I'm just learning the game. Ben lets me do some trips. We bring up some machinery for him, but I'm not allowed to do any actual farming yet. I need to learn a bit more first. So we have quite a bit of work to do today. Um, we're gonna to have to do this whole field full of sugar beet. Still a ways from home. I think you could go down that way if you want to. You can see all the instruments on the screen working really well. You can see the revs per minute counter up on the top and below that we can see the speedometer all the gauges and controls look in good condition ben's farm account currently has 1.2 million euro and current time is 9 36 a.m so we're we're up early we're working we're out on the out on the streets and we're just thinking about taking this turn off i think here to spin us round to farm 10. Oh, oh, maybe we're going to go back the way. We're going to go back the way here. Uh, maybe, maybe take the left down where that car is going. What do you think? That's it. Going to be there in no time. Going to follow these two cars in. Very picturesque. Bit of a quarry here on the right hand side as Ben seamlessly overtakes that car. He's currently at his top speed 43 kilometers an hour. I haven't seen many animals on the road. Um, ben tends not to deal in dairy farming or cattle farming he usually runs an arable farm which is mostly corn sometimes cotton sometimes sugar beef that's where all the money's at now right ben
Did you ever run any cows? Did you ever have any cows on the dairy farm? No. Not a big fan of the cows. So a bit of elevation here, and we can see that quarry again on the right hand side. Uh, so we're just gonna save up our progress here, make sure we don't lose it. And Ben is just kicking the left here to bring him, should be right down towards farm 10. I need to go right, Ben. You need to go on that, you need to go right. You can back up the road maybe. Bit slower to reverse up the hill because we're carrying a pretty heavy trailer. This trailer is about eight tons empty and we'll actually go to 19 tons when it's full. Hopefully today of sugar beet. Yeah, just don't lose the back end, that's it. So with a trailer, you turn the opposite way than you normally would if you didn't have a trailer. I think Ben might be doing a three point turn. So go forward, Ben, that's it. That's quicker, yeah. Lovely. And we're gonna take the left up here. That's it, this way, this way, left, your other left, that's it. Now we're going to follow this road around. It's going to bring us straight into field 10. Just approaching the 17th minute of our video. Hope you're enjoying it so far. You're going to see some tractor driving. You've gotten to see some combine harvesting. Some trailer hitching. And here we are, just right down here by the rail track. This is field 10. And as you can see, our hired worker is doing pretty well. He's not making as much progress as I thought he would, but he is working well. He has completed, let's check how much of the field he's completed. So just a reminder, this is Sugar Beet. Field is owned by Robert Rudolph. Nice Christmassy name. Oh, here's the train, which is a diesel locomotive. Dirty diesel. There's a nice view of the inside of the cabin. See, it's pretty old. And there's the driver's bag, all the machinery, speed up. Level crossing down and we're clear. Yeah, lovely. Just pulling into the station here. Must be the express train we're carrying on through. Going back to the field. I'm gonna go back to field number 10. I wonder if there's any uh, sugar beet coming our way. I wonder can we get on board in the combine? And we are driving. So you can see that our hired operator has done a pretty good job. He is at 83% harvest. 83%. He has got 25,000 in his capacity, which is very good. I think this is gonna be a profitable job. Just gone 10 o'clock in the morning now. The sun is in the sky. And you can see the machinery being expertly navigated by our farmer today, Ben Heaney. This machine 
machine is the Panther 2, don't forget. It's got a high yield capacity. And 83% full right now. Nearly time to unload, but Ben is gonna do another, another strip here, I think, first. And you can see that counter going up. It's now at 84%. So up to 88% now for Ben. Couple more lines like this, Ben, and you'll be up to 100% capacity. Now see the way he turns and lines up nice and straight. Ben is a fully qualified tractor and combine license holder. It's all right, Rocky. We're just farming here. Now, as you can see, Ben is unloading into the trailer. So this is the really important bit to make sure the trailer is lined up. And it is perfectly lined up and ready to receive 